Again, another cell is coming through. Yesterday, we had almost two inches of rain in 24 hours. And here's the thing, we have thousands of hummingbirds here. So now I had to make a cover on the wonderful clothes rack I've been using. And boy, do I have a lot coming on that. But today, we're just gonna make a cover from the rain and I'll tell you how I did it. And it's been working great for the rain as well as the sun. So I bought these square wire racks at the Dollar Tree and I think they use them for shelving or something, but you can use any wire you want. Now, all I did here is I decided to take two of these squares and put them on very tightly with some zip ties, at least three on each square. So it holds tight and holds it snug. This way it won't dip down and it's been doing great, fantastic out there. It is the same concept as the hanging ones that I made for the hummingbird feeders, as well as the ones to keep them separate so they don't see each other. And you've probably seen those videos last year. This is the not only protect them from the rain, but it will protect them from the sun, as well as predators from above. So it gives them a little bit of security when you do it. And I just went out there and I started zip tying my little heart out. And then I got some flags I had here that I bought at a dollar store once for a buck a piece. And I decided to use that on the top because it's lightweight. You won't, don't want anything too heavy. There's no reason for that. Now with the flags, they came in plastic. So I decided to use the plastic that they came with by putting that on first and lying the flags on top. This way, when it rains, it won't rain through and drip, but it will go off to the side. And once it's on the side, it will drip off the edge so the hummingbird feeders don't get full of water. Because once the water gets in the hummingbird feeders, it becomes diluted and it's not good for them. But generally, they taste it and they leave. They will not feed on it. And otherwise, it just sits and you'll have to dump it and refresh it out later. Here is a small version, and this is the one I made for outside, which I have hanging everywhere, and I can put a single feeder on it. See the little chain I put there? You can hang a feeder on that, or you could hang it directly to the wire itself. This is where the plastic is on the on inside. See the plastic there? And you've got your flag on the outside. It looks so pretty. And this way, when the water is coming down on it, you don't have that clicking and banging because plastic would be loud, which could frighten the birds, but hitting the soft fabric from the flag, it's fantastic and it works really good. And I put them on with binders. Uh, paper binders that you get at the dollar stores and they're fantastic. I use them all over the yard for gardening as well. They hold my tool in place so I can cover my plants and it keeps insects out. But here I used it to hold the flag down and you can put a whole bunch of them on. They're so light and once you put them on you can clip them backwards. They go flat and they're so cool and it looks uh, like a clean neat project. And if you feel that you put three on and you need four, whatever you need, five, six, just keep clipping them on and that will hold everything in place. And this way the birds will have that wonderful cover and I don't have to dump the food out if it gets wet and start all over. So it saves me money as well. And then again, make sure the zip ties are on there really tight. Use more instead of less. So this way it will hold it nice and snug and straight. I think it looks really good. And the birds have really been enjoying it. They've been feeding under it. And I do really feel it gives them a sense of security. Though I'm putting it on right now because we've had so much rain. Once summer comes and it's really hot, it will help shade the food and keep it cool. This way it doesn't have to hang out in the hot sun, the food, the feeders. That will protect your feeders so they don't get beaten on by the sun. It will protect the food in there and keep it cooler. And well, the birds enjoy it too. Think about it. They forage in trees and plants. There are a lot of times they like tucking away a little bit and this keeps them protected from a lot of the elements there. It's the easiest project. I'm gonna tell you, I absolutely love these clothes hangers that I've been buying. I have so many ways of decking them out and you're gonna see that coming real soon, but this was a must do, must have now. And I figured I better get this out in case any of you have already got them set up. And this is a way to keep the top covered. And remember, these clothes hangers, you can use them for house plants, hanging plants of any type inside or out. Isn't that beautiful? 
it's just so cool and the birds have absolutely loved it. You can see the flags here at night, the colors I use, and they really stand out, but I didn't put them out, out there for standing out. I put it out there to keep them out of the rain and it has been working fantastic. So I hope I gave you some ideas on this because there's so many ways to get things out there to do these quick fixes that don't have to cost this much money and sometimes nothing at all. And that's my whole goal, is to get you to garden, take care of the birds and nature, and keep it cheap because there's no reason to spend a lot of money unless you want to. So with that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and don't forget to eat what you're growing. Boy, I wish I could grow hundreds of pounds of sugar. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great day.